divide the x plus y tan x equals cos x. We will need to circle the p, which is the number of y's, isn't it? So the number of y's, it's plus, I'll just circle it. I'm going to just, everything but the y. There's p, it's plus tan x. So we need to work out the integrating factor. So here, the integrating factor then is equal to e to the integral p dx, which is tan x. Uh, dx, which equals um, log uh, tan log sine over cos log cos log sec, isn't it? So it's e to the ln sec x. Um, that's the integral of tan. Look it up on the standard integral table, log sec. Um, we would put moduli, but I'm not going to do that here to just so that we don't get too distracted by the moduli here. So e to the log. Uh, cancels each other out and we're just left with sec x aren't we so let's multiply by sec x all the way through then so multiplying by sec x uh, gives so sec x there times the dy dx plus a uh, sine over cos time so it's y sec tan is equal to now sec times cos sec is 1 over cos so 1 over cos times cos is just 1 so I'm going to write that down straight away so here we can circle the u and the v here's u agreed and here's v it's always in those positions so now we can write then uh, the d by dx then of u times v sec x times y is equal to uh, one integrate both sides now looks fairly easy doesn't it let's see if it turns out to be easy integrating should do gives so we're going to integrate the derivative so you get what's inside sec x times y and the integral of one which is equal to x plus a constant of integration i.e uh, sec x times y is equal to x plus k. Now the sec is 1 over cos, so in your mind's eye you look at that and it's 1 over cos. So you multiply by cosine x all the way through, and it will cancel with the 1 over cos there, and you'll end up with a x cos x here, plus k cos x. There we go. 